Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be revealing the newest Panther car on this channel. Alright, so the car that we are sitting in today is the rarest Panther car. And as you guys know, I'm fully aware of the Mercury Marauder and its existence. But this car is rarer than a Silver Birch Marauder, a Dark Toretta Red Marauder, even a blue Marauder, you will honestly have a better chance of finding a 2003 or 2004 Marauder in black with a light flint interior than you do of finding another one of these cars. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting any longer, so let's get right into the video. Now the car that I'm talking about and what sits in front of me is a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LSE. And I know right now you guys are probably thinking to yourself, what makes a Mercury Grand Marquis so special? That all I can say is you guys are going to have to wait for another video where I go in depth and tell you everything you need to know about this car. But in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a quick little tour and a quick little peek of this car. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you guys, this isn't going to be a full in-depth review of the Mercury Grand Marquis LSC. This video will be way too long if I have to make a full review and honestly I'm waiting for a better day and you guys better subscribe, better click the notification bell because you don't want to miss out when that video drops. Now if you guys are into Panthers like me you guys can already see a couple of the mods that have already been done to this car and of course it's starting to rain right now so I'm gonna try to hurry up with this video. So if you guys spot any of the mods, anything that's been done to the car, right now, go down in the comments section, tell me what you think has been changed and what we did already on this car. Now a few cool things that we do get with getting the LSC is the true dual exhaust off of a P71, factory 327 limited slip rear end even get the exact suspension setup that is being used on a Mercury Marauder. The Marauderness doesn't end there as we have factory bucket seats and a floor shifter. I think one of the best things about this car is the fact that it is the most well-kept secret of the Panther platform. Being that Nobody really knows about this car. I haven't seen many posts about it. I haven't seen many people who actually have one of these cars. And like I said, these are the rarest cars you can get if you're looking for a Panther from the years of 2001 to 2005, which are the only years of the One thing that makes this car extra special is the fact that it is a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LSE and for 2004 they only made 167 cars and all of them went to Canada and only Canada with rumors of over 70% staying in Ontario. Now one other thing to note, not only do I have such a rare and unique Panther, I happen to have it in the rarest color and rarest trim package the way that it's been ordered out of all 2004 Grand Marquis LSEs. If you're going for rare colors and unique colors, the colors that you want to buy is Arizona Beige. If you could find, once you guys hear the number, which I'll reveal in the next video, once you hear the number of how many besides this car, I would buy it right away. No matter what kind of condition it's in, it's worth it if you are a true Panther enthusiast like me. Otherwise, look out for this is for 2001 to 2005. You're going to want black. Surprisingly, black wasn't a big option because remember, a lot of people that bought this, even though it's the LX Sport or pre Marauder of the Panther platform, well, and the LX Sport of the Grand Marquis, it's still primarily older people as they go in asking for a Grand Marquis, whereas the average younger person might not, well, even though the whole idea of the LX Sport, you guys know, was made up by dealerships in the states saying that it did not sell very well, so they wanted younger people to buy it, so they decided to make it sportier, put limited slip rear end in it, a floor shifter, as well as bucket seats, and think that it would actually sell quicker. However, that was not really the case, and it was still primarily older people who had actually bought these. Colors to look out for, 
Arizona Beige, number one, black, spruce green metallic, as well as the red, there was two reds, they did have matador red, and they had dark toretta red, and dark blue pearl, which is a marauder color, but it did come on the Grand Marquis as well. As far as modding this car, you guys know with the Crown Vic, I did interior swaps, I did some performance mods, I did a lot of different things to it. This car is going to stay pretty much stock, mostly stock. There will be performance mods, there will be some appearance mods, but I would say about 30 to 40 percent done as to where this car is going to be. You can already see that I do have the wheels on it. I do actually have a different grill to go on it, as well as a special set of headlights that I made. I started tinting the windows, so I have a sunstrip on. I'm going to be doing 5% tints all the way around. Um, the rear end, you can see, was converted from the Grand Marquis rear end to the Crown Vic rear end. Because, if you ask me, the Crown Vic rear end looks a lot better than the Grand Marquis, especially when here was just that bright, right. Uh, bright red reflector that really did nothing just looked incredibly ugly if you ask me um, otherwise the rear bumper needs changing and we put the lights in from the Impala that wasn't really my choice but they're gonna kind of look funny so otherwise what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be lowering it so my goal is to lower it about two inches to close the fender gap hence why I bought lower profile tires the tires on it are 245, 45, 17s, I believe. Actually, I think the backs might be 245s, the fronts are 235s. They are staggered, if I remember correctly. And um, what we're going to be doing is lowering it, like I said, to close the fender gap. Now, ideally, the best way that you can lower these cars is coilovers. And I like that just because they're adjustable. So if I went back to this height of stock ride height, I could do it in a matter of, I don't know, half an hour. If I wanted it back lower, for whatever reason I want to lower it, for maybe take out a track, make a, like going to a car show or something, just for looks, whatever the hell I want to do it for, I can do it in no time at all. However, coilover kits for Panthers are anywhere from 900 to 1500 US by the time you factor in like the taxes and if you happen to get it a uh, discount day or sale day or whatever otherwise they are pretty expensive and right now it's not really in my budget so what I will more than likely end up doing is getting a spare set of P71 struts and putting Moog springs on it so for the front it would be CC80551 and the back using the Mustang ones which is C5501 if I remember correctly I'll put the links in the description down below for you guys now for the front end uh, one more thing that needs to be done is the bumper I actually have an idea for something that I do want to try something I've been eyeing for a long time since I got the Crown Vic and I figured might as well go ahead and give it a shot for this one so I'm gonna be I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing, but I'll be installing that as well as a lip spoiler, which I'm not sure if I'll do the traditional, like everyone else is using the Mach 1 chin spoilers. They are really nice. However, I want to be a little bit different from everyone else. So I was thinking of doing the garden edging, but that's also fairly common. So I might just have to think of something completely different, completely unique, and maybe start a new trend with these. So, as for the interior, you can see it's basically identical to a Crown Vic or Grand Marquis. Obviously, you guys know, for the Panthers, I believe from 1992 or 1990-something in the 90s, it could be, it's either going to be 92 or 98, the dashboard is identical in every single one of these cars. Everything, like the trim pieces, the whole dashboard could come out and go into one of the other years. The door panels, it's an 04, so obviously it has the 03 plus door panels with the nicer, these are the nicer looking ones in my opinion. I don't like the other ones. The shape of it just looks too, I don't know, it just looks very, very dated and um, I really don't like, I, don't, I really don't care for it. As you can see, real, realistically, this is the main part of the car that everyone wants it for. 
the floor shifter. And it is a true LSE. It does not have a hole for a shifter here. I did not change the whole column. This is a true LSE. Even the cluster shows that it's a true LSE. Now the interior normally is a little bit cleaner, but I actually do drive this car. We actually use it. It's not just a showpiece. So this is how it looks. And I do have the right the original floor mats. They're in the garage. I didn't get a chance to take out the pressure washer to clean it. I bought this car in winter. We also have the overhead console. So as usual, these don't work. It's real realistically all it does is show you N S W N W whatever, depending on what direction you're going, because it's just a compass. So if you have any sort of sense of direction which I'm sure most of you have, especially if you're taking the highway, I'm pretty sure you're going to know if you're going east or if you're going west or north or south. You really don't need it. It's. I thought it was going to do something more, but once I found out it was just that, I honestly have no intention to rush and fix this. So you guys have probably seen this in a couple of videos already, the Trinidad Boxing Glove. So if you guys didn't know, I'm from Trinidad, my background and my family is all from Trinidad, so... Any trainings out there, shout out to any of you guys watching, and go drop a flag in the comments down below. So any of you guys watching that wants to clone a Marauder, this is the car you guys should buy. This or a Crown Vic LX Sport, and already the biggest part and the most expensive part, realistically, besides the front bumper and the rear bumper, if you're going that far in detail, has been done for you. The center console has been done. You obviously aren't going to have Marauder seats, but... If you do it close enough to a Marauder color, you change everything else except for maybe like the rear bumper or the front bumper. No one's really going to know if it's a Marauder or not, the average person at least. Like I was telling you guys, this car is more rare than any of the rare Mercury Marauders. Being that the Silver Birch Marauder, I believe, was 1100 made. The Dark Toretta, no, Silver Birch was 571 or something made. The dark Toretta Red, I believe, was like 996 or 98. And the blue Marauders was 328 of them. And this car, or the black and light Flint Marauders, in total there's about 303, I think. Or about 150 for each year. I know the Marauder guys are going to hate on me in the comments for not memorizing the production numbers of a Mercury Marauder. But I don't own one. I honestly, for the life of me, I don't remember the exact number. I know that it's around the numbers that I was saying. So if you guys know, feel free to leave it in the comments. The 2004 Grand Marquis LSD had 167 made. And in this trim color, in this special order, this happened to be the rarest color. As well as this car being fully optioned with everything but sunroof and heated seats which to be honest I have yet to find a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis LSE with a sunroof and heated seats so this is the interior from the passenger side and this car is in near mint near pristine condition aside from a few minor things but being that this car has over 211,000 kilometers and it is 18 years, well actually 19 years old because this car was made in 2003 and sold probably in 2003 by the way that it was ordered at the time that it was ordered and produced. It is in very, 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 very good shape for its age. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tour slash peek of my 2004 Grand Marquis LSC. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. You really don't want to miss out on the build on this car. It's going to look so great once it's all done. I can't wait to see this car all put together and finally have it the way I want to see it. Anyways guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to go edit this video. Today is Friday. My goal is to get it up for you guys tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, so, Saturday, April 9th, I'm hoping to get this up for you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.
also I'd like to add, I know I haven't been quite uh, consistent with posting as much as I'd like to. I've been pretty active on my Instagram, Sam's Auto and DIY. Make sure to go ahead and follow that if you want to stay up to date. I am back now on YouTube though. I've been editing videos. I'm going to try to get up at least one video every week and from there hopefully start building, start showing more progress on all the cars and hopefully have them all done by summer. So here we have the Crown Vic and the Grand Marquis together, probably won't have it really together for the rest of this video, uh, just because uh, that one's going to go for, uh, I'm going to go to work while I work on this one for the day, and film this video, the rest of it at least.